Boys and girls who like to hunt, we are 10 months away from deer season opener. You better get in the gym, start hitting it just like this guy. Oh, yeah. I want three by 10 sets. You gotta be ready. You never know when that 30 point book's coming out. 10 months from now, start getting ready, folks. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to another episode of Try Not To Laugh. Folks, we're gonna jump right into this video. Quick reminder, five days away, five days away from the book release. Head over to the links in the description to pre-order yours. And get it delivered on January 30th. Audiobook, February 20th. But first, before you go check out and pre-order your book, we gotta watch today's video. We gotta play today's game, all right? If you're ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you're new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell click for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh, go. Hey, Justin Trudeau, it's me again. It is Thursday. I'm, I'm just here to tell you that the carbon tax is really working. Um, I'm just out here working my ass <laughs> off, trying to get a little bit of money to afford a loaf of bread to eat tonight with my ice cube sandwiches. Uh, luckily, I don't need any ice cubes. I can just take them off my eyebrows. Thanks, man. <laughs> Again, one of my favorite TikTok accounts. If you're a Canadian and you live in Canada and you don't follow this guy, uh, you gotta. Uh, have fun. I hope that dinner's delish. Hope Justin responds to you at some point. I've literally never bought a full tank of gas because every time my gas tank's like half full, I'll just fill it up a little bit. So technically I'm getting my tank half off every single time and that's how I save money. <sighs> the logic checks out. It works, yes. You want to save money on gas, just fill up. Go even crazier. Fill up when it gets to three quarters. Save a lot of money that way. Me after the tax lady says my return is forty-five sixty-seven. Stay in Nevada this morning. Oh, hey. oh, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the memes out of this are just phenomenal. That's a good one. Um, hopefully your return is a little bit bigger than that, but if you didn't withhold as much, that's your problem. The sibling experience. You want a curveball? You want a curveball? Here it is. It's gonna be a fastball. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> you, you want a curveball? That's a dick move, man. You should be helping your little brother out. Help him hit the curve. He's having trouble with the curve. Throw him a curve. Don't get him scared. Now he's gun shy in the batting box. Come on. This new math. Y'all, look how they got him doing 27 plus 22. Breaking it down all the way like that. And literally all we used to do is 27 plus 22. 7 plus 2 is 9. 2 plus 2 is 4. Hella quick. Why do they have to do this? I don't understand. Are you kidding me? Is this like, a, do we got any teachers out there? Well, I know we have teachers out there. But those teachers that are watching this and you're teaching math, are they actually, is this like a thing now? Is this a new strategy? What happened to the old one? It seems like a lot of extra work, man. We do know for a fact that IQ levels are dropping. We know grades are dropping. There's a number of reasons for that, but uh, yeah, that's kind of sad. You can either go to jail for a year or you can drive an electric car the rest of your life. Which one are you choosing? Jail. <laughs> jail. Um, if it made sense, I would drive the car, but it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It, it sucks in the winter time. Um, you had to change your tires more often. It just doesn't make sense. How to understand women. That should be good. What's in this book? Is it going to be blank pages or something? I have no idea. <laughs> hey, being honest. I, I, I have no idea either. So... Ladies, just tell us what you want. Just tell us what you want, all right? Tell me how you know your boyfriend won't cheat on you. Oh, come on. All, all right. Yeah, it's dark. That's dark. Um, Usually it's like some guy playing Legos or something, but that's, yeah, this is a sure fire way to know, I guess. That's, hope you're hanging in there, lady. I think you're doing all right. You made a you made a video. You're doing all right. I think. How to surprise your house guests? Am I watching here? Okay, you're making something. 
That a thr okay. Seems a little elaborate. What are we making? Is this a... Uh... Yeah, I wish I was this savvy. I wish I knew how to do this stuff. Okay, alright, what the... What is this? Okay, now we're in the bathroom. Hello, Donnie. Welcome to your new throne. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. It seems like you're a bit constipated. Oh. Don't worry, buddy. You can win this battle. <laughs> come back soon. I'm looking forward to seeing that booty again. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, a lot of work for the joke, and I appreciate that. That's a... What, I don't even... I kind of want it. I, I hate to say that. You know, how do you know your boyfriend's not cheating on you? He's making stuff like this. This is, uh, this is hilarious. I applaud this, but I also grow up. Why? You know, I, I, I have to say, I've always wondered how ladies that have nails like this do. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I have other questions too, but we'll we'll keep it PG here. This is I've never really understood the point of the long fingernails. I like the longer ones, right? That that makes sense. But this is like this is loud. This is obnoxious. This is not reasonable. You can barely eat food. How do you do other stuff? I mean, I, I don't know, man. Here's something you don't see every day. Now, I'm not an HVAC guy by any means, but uh, I'm going to go on a whim and say this probably isn't normal. Um, Is this good? It, you know, you got your know humidity turned up to 100, probably 200% there. You want to crank that back down a little bit, and then that river will it'll go away. Fix this. Yeah, you, you don't want this. is Water damage in your house, in any house, is the death of homeownership you don't want water damage do that i have anxiety looking at this this is awful nurse on deathbed claims she swapped more than five thousand babies amanda <laughs> that's good oh <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> okay but back to the original headline that's so messed up i can't even like what is what goes through these people's heads? Like, what is, what's the point of that? I, but yeah, that. <laughs> you know, I remember being in school, and teachers were like on your ass in math class. Like you, you won't have a calculator everywhere you go. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> Who looks dumb now, huh? That's right. That's what I'm talking about. He's right. Who looks dumb now? got a calculator everyone has a calculator You're right in them in their pocket it's a joke that being said you should be able to do back to the like the simple addition problem from earlier you should maybe learn how to do that stanley's marketing strategy hey boys look what i got here hey where are the white women at <laughs> all right uh you know if you want to test someone and their political correct correctness and how offended they get at things. Have them watch that movie. That's <laughs> and yes, that is their their strategy. It is. Damn, dude, it's not oh. raining that hard. No. Boat mm. on seventy five. <clears throat> Where is he? I don't even see a a vehicle parked on the shoulder. They just lo they lost their boat and left it. Man, there's a sixty thousand dollar mistake. Mm, that hurts. That like looking at that, that really hurts, man. If you thought your day was bad, like, oof. bought my wife a Stanley Cup. Wife, she asked for a Stanley Cup, and at first I didn't even know what a Stanley Cup was. So I had asked her like, "What does it do? How much does it cost?" She said fifty dollars. I said, "What? For a cup? Just for you to drink out of?" And she said, "No, it does more than that." It keeps the liquid cold. I say, so then get you some ice, put it in a cup. She said, no, that's not the point. See, you're missing the point. And me personally, 
I don't see what's the big deal about having a Stanley Cup. I don't see what the big deal is. So you know what I did? I went and bought her ass a cooler. Because <laughs> it does the same thing that the damn cup do. <laughs> Keeps everything cold. That Stanley Cup is $50. This was $28 at Dollar General. You could put ice in it. You could put juice in it. You could put whatever you want up in here. And guess what? It'll still stay cold. So I hope she happy with the investment I just made. Because we actually saved some money. Flash forward. He probably did, in fact, buy the $50 cup. And also spent $28 on the cooler. So, <laughs> boys, I don't, I don't get it either. I don't understand it. I don't want to try and understand it. Let's just... Let's let the phase pass. It will pass. It's just a phase. They'll get over it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Prisoners. Everything's fine. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. Everything's fine. Um, everything's everything's okay. Everything is not fine. If you see someone pop out in a straight jacket, you lock your doors and you hit reverse. Seen it a thousand times. Kidding, I haven't. But have you guys seen the, uh, is it uh, the Johnny Knoxville prank and Bam Margera, right? Where they, they jump out of the bus in in the the straight jackets. Maybe, that, maybe you're in the middle of a prank. Maybe that's what you're in the middle of. I don't know. Almost everyone in the gym spotted this set. Oh, I saw this. <laughs> Enjoy this one. All right, got a spotter. Another spotter. Another spotter. <laughs> it's called teamwork here, boys. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Teamwork. And and the girls are just standing around like this. You guys are idiots. You know, how do you know he's not cheating on you? He's out there spotting a squat. <laughs> Dude, that was a pretty long set. I have to say, I don't know how much weight is on there. I can't even see. My eyes are bad. You can only do so many sets before, uh, you know, you get a little tired. So the train has to end at some point. <laughs> guys are ridiculous. Nice work, boys. If you don't start retesting these dinosaurs on the road. Did you know you can anonymously submit someone for retesting for their driver license? What? So do with that what you will. Is that true? Um, if that's true, um, again, what he said, do with that what you will. We're doing it for the safety of everyone, guys. I came to the liquor store to get some modelos because I just got out from work. But I'm an idiot. I left my window open. And when I opened the door, I noticed that someone took a bite on my burrito. What? Uh, I really hate ba Bakersfield. L look, they took a big bite on my burrito. That's oh. it? That... <laughs> Dude, that has to be one of the kindest, most considerate thief I've ever seen in my life. Maybe an honest person that truly just wanted a bite is just hungry. It's like, hey man, dude, I know you're hungry. I know that's why you have this burrito. I'm just going to take a single bite and put it back, man. I'm sorry. I have to. I'm hungry. <laughs> like, you didn't take the whole thing? Why did you take the whole thing? That looks delicious, by the way. It's really, it's early in the morning right now as I'm filming. But I want that really bad. Hey guys, come to the gym with me. Hi, um, could I cancel my membership? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Who, who did this to start the year? The reverse resolution. When HR gets a hold of all the memes I've shared about hating my job. Come it's on, true. none of it's true. None of it's true. It's BS. They made it up. They lie. <laughs> Kind of a dark meme there, but yeah. Don't be sharing the, the work memes at work, guys. Or on your personal page when you're friends with coworkers. And, yeah. My dog, when we tell him to go outside. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible slide. Like, dude, he started sliding at the TV stand. And he still made it. That's accuracy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Watch this. Accuracy. That dog has talent. Get him in the America's Got Talent. That's the kind of stuff they have on that show. We're gingers. Steve. We're going to reapply our SPF 50, and we're still going to burn. We're gingers. We require twice as much anesthesia as everyone else. What? We're gingers. Is that true? We're going to have blotchy skin and temporary rashes, and it's going to freak you out. 
we're gingers. In a hundred years, we won't exist. And you're That's fine true. with that. Because we don't have souls. We're gingers. <laughs> People are going to ask us if this is our natural hair color. And yes, the carpets do match the drapes. We're gingers. <laughs> People make fun of us because we produce more theomelanin due to genetic variants in the MC1R gene found on chromosome 16. We're gingers. And no, our last name's not Weasley. <laughs> Love this guy. Sandlot, classic, Deve. Um, this is, uh, you know, a little update for Deve. This is Deve, Deve's twin. Um, is that true on the anesthesia? Is that a real thing? Megan, I know we're doing a lot of, can we look this up thing, but can we look that up? Is that true? Gingers do have souls. They do. They can't even hire more people. Reposting my most viral video, that's how they voted. <clears throat> okay, so we're watching this Kamala Harris Is this uh, live. When is this? I think I kind of remember this. This is a while ago. All right. And I don't know if anybody else noticed, but the... All these people on Zoom. So this lady, it's also this oh lady. Oh my gosh, really? And this lady, it's also this How did lady. I not see this before. Oh wait, and this lady, it's also this what lady. What the? So who are these people? <laughs> the half-assedness. Put some effort into it. What is that? 16 people total that you need? 25? Like, come on. You couldn't find 25 to 30 people? Like, get out of here, dude. But yeah, this is what this is the administration that we have right now. It's ridiculous. My new Roman Empire is the fact that nobody was sitting in that seat on that plane where the window door piece of the plane literally broke off in the middle of the flight. How is no one sitting there? What are the odds? Hmm, she makes a really good point. The exit row is always full. Always. What's the conspiracy here? Drop me your theories down below right now. There's something here, dude. Point of view, your boss asks what you were sick from after you faked being sick to have a long weekend. It's a... Uh... <clears throat> It's a rare blood disease. Stick it to demand neosis. <laughs> What's that? I never heard of it. You're lucky. Because it's hell. <laughs> uh, classic movie, School of Rock. you never seen it. You're missing out. One of my favorites of all time. Did you know this? Yo, guys, if you didn't know this, now you know. You never put a soup or a drink in a bag like this. Uh-uh. Yeah, you got to take out the soup or the drink. You twist the bag, one, two, okay. okay, until you got that, and then you're gonna put the soup or the drink Ooh. in the holes, Dude. and boom! Is that genius or what? Isn't that the best thing you've ever seen? There you go, you're Holy. welcome. Did you know this is the proper way of using a strainer? No, it's not. Get I bet here. you did not. I don't even think 90% of people <clears throat> know this. You don't strain like people like that, just dude. dump it in and then back out I and guess, then into well, the maybe. other container where Is, they're gonna, you know, you stir up like the that? sauce and stuff. But that doesn't make any sense, dog. Guys, this man figured it out. One? He figured it out. Look, polyurethane takes away that foggy coat you got on your headlights. Check this out. Really, bro? Did y'all know about this? Cause, dude. That's a All right, crazy well, life hack. A couple right life there. hacks for us today. Uh, I love it. I, you know, especially that first one. You, you eat a lot of pho, a lot of uh, Thai food, a lot of Vietnamese. You get some soups here and there. You need to know this one for the future. You have to. <laughs> I, yeah, these, these haven't gotten old yet. <laughs> It's a, it is a little out of control. There's a lot of these now, but this is still. <laughs> oh, did you guys, uh, did you buy your Stanley Cups? Did you do your punishment? The only reason that men say women and children first in tragedies, like when a ship sinks, is so that they can hang back and kiss each other. Wake up. Wake up, liberals. 
We gotta play the violins. Get, get the hell out of here. We gotta play the violins as the ship goes down. Fake news. The Kid's Guide to the Internet, 1997. Wanna write a letter to President Clinton? Would he answer us? <laughs> I bet he would. I bet he would too. <laughs> yeah, he might. He might. Uh, he probably did. You know, that's why he's in trouble now. So, it's pretty sad, but true. Work from home employees, 859. And he's going to jump right up. Here we go. We just need to find a more and, uh, effective <laughs> way to ensure that the transfer. Uh, is anyone else, You guys are you guys over working from home? Is anyone ready to go back into the office? Or do you like working from home because of this? New year is starting out just as I expected. Oh, hang on, hang on! Oh, no, dude. Be okay. Be okay? You know what? That thing was a hazard anyways. Probably good that's not there anymore. Um, Jeez, that must be icy. <laughs> Owie. One of you, Bill Clinton and Prince Andrew, pulling up to the island for the first time. It's our big chance, man. <laughs> All we gotta do is show a little class, a little sophistication. YouTube doesn't like those memes, by the way. More on that later. When the McDonald's employee only gives me one sauce for a 20 piece. Stay in the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> <f> <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Honestly, if you work at McDonald's and you do that, shame on you. Like, seriously, shame on you. Screw your manager who says only one. Dude, like, if you get a six piece, you need two. You need a packet of, of barbecue sauce per three nuggets. That's, everyone knows that. Some people do two. Don't skimp people on the sauce. Shame on you. That's a, that is, it should be a crime, if we're being honest. Marriage advice. Leave him love notes to always let your husband know you're thinking of him. Oh, no. Clean up your hair. Clean up your hair. That, no. Don't leave those. Finally beat my wife in an argument. Oh, wait, let's see. Is he outside? On the couch? Out <laughs> on the sidewalk. <laughs> in the driveway. Oh, geez. Sorry, man. Is far and away the best defense that Patrick Mahomes has had. Right? What? I mean, is it possible that they could ride the D? Uh-uh. The defense? <laughs> okay. Grow up. Yes, they can ride the defense. The defense can carry them. Sneed, decent corner. Um, by the time this video comes out, I hope the Chiefs will have lost. Chiefs fans, relax. You have two Super Bowls. A lot of people get real upset when I talk crap about the Chiefs. But they have quickly become the villains of the NFL, whether you like it or not, so... I voted for Biden, and I can only think of one thing that was kind of good from that. The only good thing that came from voting for Biden is that it's very easy to figure out what is one of the biggest regrets of my life. I wouldn't have voted for Trump, but I would have spent all my time understanding more about what's going on at the Green Party. So thank you, Biden. You made it easier for me to answer the question, what is your biggest regret in life? <laughs> voting for your dumbass. <laughs> Biden. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. You know, um, this is funny because it kind of goes against what uh, they're trying to tell people. The, the gaslighting, right? That's the, the, the fun phrase now. Everyone says gaslighting. But that's what politicians do. They say, oh, no, we're doing great. Everyone loves us. Records here, records there, blah, blah, blah. But you see videos like this all over the internet of uh, people who voted for Biden that are very, very, very unhappy. So that's, in my mind, hilarious. And I appreciate this guy sharing his opinion. So how'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. You gotta watch again on Sunday and test yourself again. And folks, remember, we are five days away from the official book release. Thank you to the thousands of you who have pre-ordered already. So we have two more education videos. If you have not yet, please head over the links in the description, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, Target, Walmart, you name a bookstore, it's probably there. Please check that out. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. 12, 15, oops, stepping on them. There's a, it's black, anyway. Idiots.